The overall goal of this procedure is to generate Epstein-Barr virus transformed lymphoblastoid cell lines or LCL from human B cells. This is accomplished by first isolating peripheral blood mononuclear cells from human blood. Next, the cells are infected with Epstein-Barr virus in the presence of FK506, an immunosuppressive agent. Three to four days after infection with Epstein-Barr virus, a subpopulation of cells emerges that is marked as CD23 high, CD58 positive, and is predicted to undergo proliferation. CD23 high, CD58 positive cells can be enumerated by flow cytometry as a predictor of successful outcome. Proliferating cells can be further identified micro and macroscopically by the clusters of lymphoblastoid cell lines that form in successfully transformed cell cultures. The final step is to expand lymphoblastoid cell lines for cryopreservation. In my laboratory, we generate lymphoblastoid cell lines, or LCLs, to understand interactions between the host and Epstein-Barr virus. Lymphoblastoid cell lines are also of broad general interest to the scientific community, particularly to virologists, immunologists, and cancer biologists. As a postdoctoral fellow in a Baduri McIntosh lab, I'll be demonstrating the procedure for generating lymphoblastoid cell lines. After drawing 10 milliliters of blood from a donor, add the heparinized blood to a 50 milliliter conical tube, and then dilute it one to two by adding 20 milliliters of room temperature PBS to the tube. Now underlay the diluted blood with 15 milliliters of Vicol Hypake Lymphocyte Separation Medium, and then spin down the blood at 225 times G.